Yo, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This is Reflex Image. If this is the first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you have any questions, you can contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I did this artistic background, how I actually did it from scratch, and I'll be showing you how I brought in all the files and also the files that are now available for sale. They are part of my latest collection, which I actually just got as of recent, so you can just go to my store and purchase them there it consists of over 100 overlays and png and it's available for sale for just 5000 naira only so if you're interested you can just hit me on my whatsapp or you can just go directly to my online store and get them there these are the files i'll be using for the next three to six months in editing my pictures because i want to do some kind of extreme manipulation and i want you guys to also have that it's going to help a lot look at these boxes they actually play a great role when it comes to bringing in png you guys notice as of recent i don't tend to use png uh that's because some of my files are outdated which i don't want to use my previous file but now my updated pack is not available for sale so if you're interested in getting them slide into my dm now or go straight to my store and buy them there so with no further ado let's jump into action as you can see this picture was taken with canon 6d a three light setup it goes a 200 pro as the major source of lights in conjunction with two beauty dish and two 3520 flash the other 520 flash is what created this, this gel for us. So I've actually extended the background, I've smoothened the background, but this uh this cutting I'm having over here I actually did it myself. This is not manipulated, this is the way I took the picture, and also the ring light was also there. So I just love doing my manipulation from scratch so that it doesn't have to stress me out. So what I'll be doing now is to bring in my overlays, then my PNG5. And you can see I have like five different layers here already i've actually separated my model from the background as you can see i separated my background from the model also i removed my model from the background so if you want to learn how i do that there are other videos down on my channel that will teach you from scratch also so all i'll be doing here is bringing in the png the overlays and also do my color grading so let's jump into action the first thing i'll be bringing in right now is my overlay i want to turn this seamless backdrop to a little bit of canva so I do have the Canva in part of my collection also. So you definitely need to get my latest pack if you are yet to get it. So I'm going to click on the layer directly below my model layer. Here's my model layer here. So for it not to confuse us, let's change the name from layer one to model layer. So model, as you can see. So I'm going to click the layer directly below it. Then I'll go back to my file manager. Then I'll go to where my Canva backdrop is located. Keep searching it and here is it over here i just have to drag it down to my photoshop as you can see wait for it to load up then i'm going to expand it then i'm going to twist it 90 degree holding down my shift key i'm going to turn it 90 degree then i'll bring it to the location i want it to be i'll click on my ok so under the blend mode i'm going to change it down from normal bring it down to soft light but the issue we have having right now is that it actually came in with its own color which i don't like so i'm going to desaturate the color by clicking on ctrl u then under the saturation i bring it down so i've actually killed the color that came with it then i'm going to reduce it a little bit because it's a little bit too dark for me then i'm going to bring it down the opacity from 100 i think 72 is okay then i'll click on my okay so that being said now you can start your color grading this way and call it a day but the reason why i brought this a picture here is for me to show you how to use some of the png file which are in my latest collection right now which i'll start using from now on so let's go back to our file manager and start bringing in our png file i'll still go back there this time around i'm going to my latest collection then i'll be bringing in this mirror i'll bring it this in right now just have to drag it down to my photoshop but before i do that we actually made use of a cutting as you can see this cutting over here so I'll just have to bring it in. Let's go back to a file manager. Let me see where the cutting is located. Then I'll drag it to my Photoshop. Still searching for it. Okay, here is it over here. Over here, I just have to drag it down to my Photoshop. As you can see. Then I'll take it to whatever location I want it to be. I want it to be around this way. Then I'll click on my OK. After doing that, just have to go back to my file manager. Then I'll bring in the mirror with the table alongside it so still looking for it ok 
say here is the Tova as you can see I have like three different type of it I have this I have the white one and I also have this so let's go with the brown one for now this helps to drag it down to my Photoshop then I'll adjust the size then I'll place it in whatever location I want it to be I want it to be around this way I think it's okay for me I'm going to click on my OK to paste it right now so there's no need for us in creating shadow right now because it's actually uh, at the back so there's no need for the shadow there except you want the foot to be showing then that's when you have to be worried about the shadow so what i also want to do right now is i want to fill a picture i want to fill this area with a picture another of a picture what i just need to do right now is to go to my quick selection tool and make sure it's an addition then i'm going to scroll over it this way as you can see right now once i do that i'll just have to click on my ctrl j then go to my file manager and look for where a picture is look for where a picture is then i'll drag it down to my photoshop okay i'll be using this right now just have to drag it down to my photoshop wait for it to load up then i'll adjust the size so that it's going to fit into the frame once i do that i'll still readjust it i'll click on my ok then i'm going to right click on it and then click on create clipping marks boom automatically it's going to fill inside the mirror perfectly fine but the picture is not that okay for me it's kind of one-sided so i'll go to my pick tool then i'll use my navigational key to adjust it from the side as you can see right now which is perfectly okay but since it's a mirror we need to have a little bit of whitish look on it to make it look more realistic as possible so under the opacity i'll just bring the opacity down a little bit so that it's going to be reflecting on it so that being said now i think we are actually achieving what we promised to do so let's see what we are going to bring in next i think we are bringing in next uh the boxes the, the box we have over here so i have to go down to my file manager again then i'm going to look for where the box is as you can see i have so many boxes here i have so many chests here also so i'll keep scrolling down until i see what i'm looking for this is exactly what i'm looking for right now this then i'll just have to drag it down to my photoshop wait for it to load then i'm going to adjust the size then i'll turn it the way i want it to be Keep adjusting it until I see if it. I think I like it around this way. I like it around this way. So I'll click on my OK. But the issue I'm having right now is it's a little bit too bright on my liking, which I don't want. Then I'll just have to click on my Ctrl M. So from the center, I'm going to drag it down to darken the image for us a little bit. As you can see right now, it's going to fit in perfectly with the backdrop we just created right now. So that being said, now we have to go back to our file manager again to bring in the next material we'll be using right now i just want this place to be choked kind of a show of though showing of the png collection i just have right now so i'll go back to my file manager then i'll look for the flower vase which is part of my latest collection i have this i have this i have this the lucky thing is that the funny thing is that they actually came with their own shadow so you don't have to suffer yourself bother yourself to create a shadow again so i'll be using this right now just have to drag it down to my photoshop adjust the size to whatever size i want it to be you can like it around this way I like it around this way so i'll look for the location i want to drop it i think it's okay around this way once i'm done i just have to click on my ok this is actually perfect you can start your color grading from here but i want to do the exact same thing i did in this picture as you can see right now so what i'll be doing right now i'll still have to go back to my file manager again go to my file manager then i'm going to pick up the last thing i'll be needing right now which is the lax box as you all if you have been following my channel for a while now you know this is one of my old collection but I actually misplaced it but i just got it back today so i just try to use it out again i have so many other boxes which i'll be using in my future tutorials also but i'll be using this for today because since it's what i used uh in the prototype of the picture so i also click on it drag it down to my photoshop wait for it to load up then i'm going to reduce the size to whatever size i want it to be then i'll take it to whatever location i want it to be so i think it's okay around this way it's perfectly fine and the funny thing there is that look at the shadow so realistic enough i don't think i need to work on any shadow again it's perfectly okay so this does it we actually took our picture our background with so many png files and they look as real as possible and that's the beauty of manipulation so to make it look as real as possible so after that the next thing you just need to do right now is to start, start your color grading which i've actually done so far i'm just going to be turning off the color grading layer and you, you can see we actually achieve what we promised to do but, so in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file 
from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you you just have to click on show more click on it so it's going to show all the options once it does that just click on my store link so here's my store link once you click on it it's going to take you directly to my store so you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lots this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing files my premium overlay my png my flying fabric my color lookup my preset so once you buy this you've already bought everything apart from this one so here is my flying fabrics here is my in case you want to give me any project for me to work on here's my color lookup here is my background overlay and here is my preset file so in case you're interested in buying anyone you can actually go for them the good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency any currency of your choice you can buy with any currency of your choice so yeah so let's just turn this on right now so that i can see what it actually did for us boom i started color grade a picture for us perfectly fine here is the before of the color grading and here is the after as you can see it's perfect so if you're interested in getting the color grading pack also they are also available for sale they are easy to use and straightforward just a single click away your picture is color graded instead of you using your EU saturation going to camera roll and doing everything from scratch yourself you can actually just use this to achieve a nice result so now let's do the before and after of what we just did right now so let me select everything and place them in a group Ctrl G here is the before and here is the after before and after it's so perfect so I might not even be able to tell the difference if it's been manipulated or we took the picture that way and that's the beauty of manipulation if you can achieve this in your manipulation i think you are good to go so i'll be dropping this picture for you guys to practice it also and also send a review to me anybody that did edit the picture the way i want it to be given this latest file for sale so you guys have to deliver in the next three days and also you have to post on your instagram tagging me also so once you do that and i actually like the picture you did i'll be giving you this complete pack for free so let's start the color grading right now let me turn off the color grading layer as you all know the first thing i love doing in my color grading is adding a little bit of vintage to my picture so for we to do that now you just have to click on our eclipse marker tool which is right over here hold down the shift key then i'm going to circle around my model like this so after doing that i just have to invert my selection by clicking on ctrl shift and i at the same time so you're going to select the background instead of my model so after doing that, I just have to go to my adjustment layer, then click on solid color field with 100% black. Then click on your OK. So I'm going to click on the max. Once I click on the max, it's going to load up the property for me. So under the property, I'm going to increase the feather to about 400 or so. I think 545 is OK. Then after doing that, I'll just bring down the opacity a little bit. I'm waiting for it to load up. I'll bring down the opacity a little bit i think 30 is okay as you can see right now after doing that let me just use one lot for you guys to, to color grade the picture which is my natural fineness so once i just place the lot there automatically it's going to color grade the picture for you i have so many other lots like that but i'll be using that in this particular picture so just go to my adjustment layer click on my color lookup click on those 3d lots scroll down and look where it is and here is my natural fineness and boom look at what it did for us but actually the color is a little bit too much it destroys some details in my picture which i actually don't like so i just go to the opacity and bring it down to 46 also and boom look at what you just did right now color grade and picture in just two single clicks very easy and straightforward to do so i hope this video helps you a lot if it does kindly like drop your like comment on it and also share with friends so that's all today's video guys thanks for watching See you guys on my next video. One love.